The Fujifilm X-H3 is one of the most talked about cameras in the mirrorless world right now. And for good reason, the rumors around this camera are pointing to some pretty big upgrades that could change what we expect from an APS-C camera body. If you've used the X-H2 or even the X-T5, you already know Fujifilm makes some seriously powerful cameras that blend style and performance well. But with the X-H3, it looks like they're taking things a step further with a focus on speed, detail, and better performance across the board from what's been leaked. The X-H3 could offer stunning high-resolution images, strong video features, and fast autofocus in a tough weather-sealed body that makes it ideal for all kinds of photography, from landscape and portraits to sports and even video production. In this video, we'll break down all the biggest leaks and features expected in the Fujifilm X-H3. So if you're into camera tech and want to know what's coming next from Fujifilm, make sure to watch till the end. And if you like content like this, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to Factic for more updates. The X-H3 is shaping up to be a big leap forward for Fujifilm's camera lineup. It's designed for people who want stunning image quality without the size and cost of a full-frame system. At the center of it all is a new sensor that's got everyone talking. Fujifilm is reportedly introducing a 40 megapixel sensor that can produce images with an effective resolution of around 80 megapixels through smart interpolation. Now this might sound like a trick, but it's actually a clever use of processing. They use pixel shift and fine-tuned algorithms to double the resolution without sacrificing detail. So if you're someone who shoots landscapes, architecture, or product photos, you'll probably love the amount of detail this camera can capture what makes it more impressive is that Fujifilm also improved how the sensor handles light. It uses a stacked design which helps reduce rolling shutter and allows for faster readouts. This means you can shoot fast-moving subjects like wildlife or sports without worrying about distortion. In your images, you also get better dynamic range so highlights and shadows look more balanced, and the colors stay natural and vibrant. Fujifilm has always been known for its color science, and with the X-H3, they're taking it further by supporting 16-bit RAW files. That's a big deal for pros who do a lot of editing because it gives them more control in post-processing. Another cool feature is the dual native ISO. What this means is the camera has two base sensitivity levels, so it can handle bright and dark scenes more smoothly. If you like shooting in low light, you'll appreciate the cleaner results with less noise, even at higher ISO settings. Let's talk about design too. Fujifilm hasn't forgotten about usability. The body of the X-H3 is built for comfort and control. You get physical dials and buttons that are easy to reach, so you can change settings quickly without digging through menus. It feels solid in the hand, and it's weather sealed so you can take it outdoors without worry. The electronic viewfinder is expected to get an upgrade too with a sharper display and faster refresh rate, which makes it easier to follow subjects in motion. Paired with improved autofocus, it's looking like a solid choice for people who want performance and reliability compared to the XM5, which is also a strong camera with 26 megapixels. The X-H3 stands out for people who need higher resolution and pro-level features. The XM5 is great for everyday photography and video, with good stabilization and 4K video recording. But the X-H3 is focused more on stills, with maximum clarity. And speaking of video, Fujifilm is also adding strong video tools to the X-H3. It's expected to shoot 6K video and support flat profiles like F-Log, and maybe even Apple ProRes. This is good news for hybrid shooters who want one camera that can handle both photo and video job. There are also talks of improved battery life which is a welcome change for users who shoot long sessions or record lots of video. The inclusion of USB-C charging and possibly faster data transfer speeds is also expected. Even though these are all rumors, they paint a clear picture. The Fujifilm X-H3 is shaping up to be a serious tool for pros and advanced users who want top performance in an APS-C camera. It's not just about numbers, it's about real improvements that help you capture better photos and videos. So whether you're a landscape shooter who wants super high resolution, a portrait photographer looking for color depth, or a hybrid creator who needs great stills and video in one body, the X-H3 might be the perfect fit. So that wraps up everything we know so far about the upcoming Fujifilm X-H3. From high resolution image output to better autofocus and possible 6K video support, this camera is shaping up to be a major release for anyone who takes photography seriously. 
Fujifilm is clearly listening to what creators want. They're not just increasing specs for the sake of it, they're aiming to improve the whole experience, from image quality to usability. And that's why this camera could stand out in a crowded market with features like a stacked sensor, 16-bit RAW, dual native ISO, and a possible 80 megapixel output using pixel shift. The X-H3 could offer the kind of versatility that appeals to many different kinds of shooters, whether you're shooting portraits, events, travel, or wildlife. This camera might handle it all with ease. Of course, we'll have to wait for the official release to know everything for sure, but based on these early leaks, the X-H3 could become one of the best APS-C cameras available. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay up to date on the latest camera news and reviews, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to Factic for more. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.